guys, I'm Becky from Book Butt Reviews and welcome to another reading vlog. Today it is April 1st, it is the first day of the Owls, so this is my week one vlog for the Owls. I will say this vlog will be a tad bit long because I think it's probably not going to end until not this upcoming Friday but the Friday after. But just got done with my day. It is currently 11 o'clock at night and as soon as I got off of work I started working on my bullet journal because I had not made or filmed my bullet journal for April. Now I am done. I am so proud of this month's bullet journal spreads. I I blew myself away. I will say I did find the inspiration online. This was an original idea, but I'm still very, very proud of myself. I will give you a sneak peek. You'll have to watch my bullet journal video. I'll have it linked down below to see the full effect, but I did make a freaking Marauders map. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. So now I'm finally ready to vlog. I have been very, very productive today. I have started my first book for the Owls, which is The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia. This is this month's book club pick. I do have my Goodreads link to my book club right down below if you want to join us. I hope that you can. But I have been reading this since I think I started at like two o'clock in the morning, but I'm now on page 222. I'm over halfway through the book and I am loving this book. I'm loving it so much. I am listening to the audiobook while playing Animal Crossing because we all know Animal Crossing has taken over my life and I'm just really, really enjoying it. It's so freaking good. Oh, I should probably say what the owls are in case you did not see my TBR video or you've never heard of the owls. But the owls happen every year in April. It is part of the Magical Readathon run by G from Book Roast. I will have the announcement video linked down below. I will have her, I will have her announcement video linked down below. You can also check out my TBR video. However, <laughs> my TBR has since changed quite a bit. Uh, one of the books I was not able to get. Oh, copy of before the world shut down and of course that is Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me the book that continually is on my TBRs and I still have not read so hopefully in May or sometime eventually I can get that book and read it I cannot find an ebook copy I can't find a physical copy nothing I don't want to buy it I would rather read it from my library and I cannot find a physical or electronic edition to read so that was taken out. I also found out that Ninth House probably has nothing to do with the sea or the coast, so I have swapped that with Caraval. Ninth House I still have in there, but I have changed that for uh, Read a Book at Night, which was originally Sheets. It's... As the month goes on, you will find out all the books that I actually am reading for the owls. For right now, during this vlog, what my goals are is to finish The Lovely Reckless. I really need to finish Crescent City. That's not part of the owls, but I need to finish it. It could be part of the owls, but I need to get that done. I really, really need to finish Loved. There's a lot to do. But I don't think I'm going to pressure myself too much. March was a really bad reading month. There was just a lot going on and I didn't have time to read and I didn't even want to read. So March was a bit slumpy even though it's usually my best month. That's all right. So for April I'm just going to like take it easy, read when I want to read. I really want to focus on as many audiobooks as I have so that way I can keep playing Animal Crossing because I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. I need to do a couple of things on my computer and then I'm going to continue to listen to The Lovely Reckless, hopefully finish it because I only have like 150 pages left and play Animal Crossing with my husband. So I will see you guys later. Hey guys, today is Monday and I haven't updated you guys since I think I basically started this vlog, but I have finished The Lovely Reckless. I finished it yesterday technically it was yesterday morning because I finished it before I went to bed on Saturday night and I really enjoyed it I will say though I felt like the romance was a little bit too insta lovey a little bit too rushed so I did mark it down a star for that just because it just didn't feel genuine to me but other than that I really really enjoyed it I was very very intrigued very hooked 
this is a really cool story about a dark world and I wouldn't like kind of upbringing just because some of the other characters have been living in this poor neighborhood for their whole lives and have to do things in order to protect their family and to survive. And we have this other character who grew up rich but is now living in the city and kind of feels a lot closer to these people than she does her fellow rich people. But I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it four out of five stars. Like I said, it was really good. It just didn't have that amazing factor. But I do know that Cami Garcia is really, really good at writing romance. I've read some of her more recent books and they're top notch. So I think it was just this one. This isn't a bit of an older book. That is one book done for the owls. I'm so freaking excited. However, I am going to take a pause from the owls because I do need to switch back over to Crescent City. I need to finish this book. I started this book for another vlog and it needs to get done. I'm almost halfway through it. So now that I'm done with The Lovely Reckless, I'm going to be taking a break and just reading this, which basically means that this vlog is basically over because I'm not going to be doing any more reading until I get done with this. But I might get done with this before the week is up, which is when I was originally going to end the vlog. However, I do have a lot of packages coming. My birthday was on March 30th and I got a lot of Amazon gift cards. So I have, I think like three packages coming. I just got one now, so we're going to do an unboxing. And then I also have last month's bookish box that should be showing up at some point. I think something else is shipping from them. Then of course the April box. So throughout these vlogs, there will be a lot of unboxings. But I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the vlog going until it was supposed to end in the event that I do finish Crescent City and I can start something else. So now let's just get into the unboxing. I'm currently at work, at work, because I am working from home right now during all of this and I need a break. So we're going to take a break from work even though I've only been working for an hour but I've got a lot mentally going on this morning and I need a break. So we're going to take that break with an amazing birthday unboxing, which I'm so freaking excited about. So first up, I bought two amazing, amazing books, and that is because the Bookish Box is doing exclusive dust jackets for the series, which I'm so freaking pumped about. However, I did not own the first two books in hardcover. I had them in paperback, so I needed to buy them in hardcover, and those books are Twilight and New Moon. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. I was able to buy these brand new, they are in perfect condition. I will say being in the box because they had no kind of protection on them. Being in the box with the other items, the dust jackets did get like a little bit wonky, but these dust jackets are getting taken off to have their new fancy ones. And I'm just so freaking excited. I need these dust jackets like now. I do already own these books. Now I have them for the beautiful dust jackets that should be on their way at some point in my life. Next, I got an awesome, awesome backpack, which I'm so excited about because I got it to use for work. So here it is. It is this gorgeous, gorgeous green bag. It has, I think, 10 pockets. It's water repellent. It's a backpack and it has these super cute double straps, which I'm just a really big fan of. I've been seeing this type of bag everywhere and I knew that I absolutely had to get one. I'm going to be using it for work, but also any traveling that I eventually do it again some point in my life. So we have a really nice pocket right here in the front. There are two water bottle pockets on the side. Then on the back there is a zipper right here which I believe is... oh! I was thinking that it was a separate laptop pocket but it's actually you can get into the main bag because the straps do snap together to prevent theft. So the easiest way in the bag would be from the side, which I really like because then you don't have to open up the whole bag. But then once you do open it up, which I also like that it is, it has like metal bars on the top so it stays structured. But then we have this giant inside. There are two pockets right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. A zipper pocket right up here. Another zipper pocket on the side, which is actually charging ports because you can charge your phone with this. Then there is another water bottle like pocket down here and then on this side there is a smaller little pocket for like cords and then the big pocket for a laptop. So I am such a big fan. You can hold it this way, you can carry it on your back. I'm in love. The color is beautiful. I love that it has gold detailing with the green. 
what a freaking win. I'm in love with this bag, like pretty much obsessed. And I'm so excited that I got it. I think it was maybe like $35 I want to say, but I will link it. It comes in all kinds of colors and I think some patterns as well. And then finally, the other thing that I'm super freaking excited about because it is for my Switch. It is from the company Fun Lab. And when I saw this, I knew I had to get it. This case is really large. It fits not only your Switch, but also the dock and all of the cords. And that's what I wanted because if I'm gonna be traveling with everything, I would rather have a big case for it. That is what I got. Wait till you guys see this thing. Look at this baby. Are you freaking kidding me? This is a Luigi case with his suspenders that have to snap off in order to open it. I am such a fan. As soon as I saw this, I knew I had to get it. They also have it in Mario, which I'm going to buy eventually for my husband's, but this is my birthday money, so this is for me. So here's what it looks like on the inside. There is a strap that goes on the outside, and then it has all of this Sorry, my cat is in the way. Then there is all of this foam to protect your devices. Your switch goes here, and then the dock and controllers can go here, cords over here, and then up here there are extra pockets as well as more straps for more controllers, and then all the slots for all of your games, which I buy digital copies, but it is still nice to have in case somebody else buys me a game. Isn't that just so freaking cute? I. I couldn't pass it up. It's absolutely amazing. I love that the top is like a really soft kind of material and then this is almost jean material. It's just fantastic. I'm totally obsessed. They do have this in a small case that just fits your switch and it looks exactly the same with the suspenders and everything which they also said that if you buy that that will also fit in here somehow. I don't know how but they claim it will. I'm in love. I will have the Mario one eventually for my husband, but green is my favorite color. Luigi's always been my favorite. Red is his favorite color. Mario has always been his favorite. Like, it was just perfect, and I had to do it, but eventually he will get his. I just don't see us needing to travel with two docks anytime soon. The only time I can think of is, like, if we go on vacation or if we move, so I've got some time because ain't nobody going anywhere right now. But alright guys, I'm now going to clean up the unboxing mayhem and go back to work and I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, today is Wednesday. I am making some really good progress with Crescent City so I should be able to read probably at least a graphic novel I will read before this vlog ends. But I do have an unboxing for you guys. I'm so freaking excited. I had a lot of issues getting this package. I was tracking it and it said at like nine o'clock in the morning, which is not when I get my mail, that they attempted to deliver it and per customer's request, I would like to come to the post office and pick it up. It's like, never happened. I did not say that. I don't wanna leave my house. So I went there, they couldn't find my package. I had to run back out to my car and grab my phone so that I could get the tracking number for them. Come to find out, I forgot that I had it shipped to the library because I pre-ordered this back in February and was expecting the library to still be open because none of this was really happening yet. And yeah, apparently it was with the library mail. We asked them to hold all of our mail, so as soon as they got the tracking number, then they could track it down of where it was supposed to be. And then it was a whole issue of like, are you picking up all the library mail? I'm like, no, please. I just want my one package. What a mess. What I'm unboxing for you guys right now is my copy of Ruthless Gods from Owlcrate. This is the Owlcrate exclusive edition. I am reading this book for my owls. So I am very, very excited. Let's go ahead and see what all came with this because apparently there's a pin but I haven't seen it. First we have this really cool art print that you got if you pre-ordered the book, but it's really really cool. It has, I don't know if you guys can really tell, let me see if there's any way I can, can you kind of see like the shimmery on all of these little like dots? Those are like 3D if you can kind of tell. Really really cool. And now the pin. I'm so excited about it. Let me take it out of its packaging. Oh my god. This is a really really cool pin. I really love the shape of it. It says betrayal serves itself. It's really really hard to show because it is reflective. So um hmm, let me try it this way. That's slightly better. So it's really really cool. You can't 
really tell, but it's a really, really cool pin. I'm really digging it. And now the book, which it's a big book. This is, I want to say a lot bigger than Wicked Saints. So let me see how many pages it is. 535 pages. Yikes! So far, before we see the cover or anything, it does have deckled edges, which I used to be a fan and then I became a hater. And now I'm back to being a fan because honestly, it looks really pretty. I am all about aesthetics when it comes to books and it really doesn't affect my reading, like my turning of the pages because I don't turn the page from the side I turn it from the top the only thing is that while reading I will grab it from the side and then move my hand to the top so with deckled edges I have to just do everything from the top or bottom which is totally fine with me and now let's look at this because this is the the Alcrate exclusive it does come in black so oh my god that is gorgeous it is in a soft velvet to the touch matte black cover and then it has this really, really gorgeous silver detailing for the bottom. That is really, really cool. I love the blood dripping from the gods. And then I think that there might be, yes, there is a custom dust jacket on the reverse side. So let's see what this art is. Oh man, that is gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm, I'm a real big fan. So we have, let me try to, we have like these really cool like statues, I think. They might be gods. And then we have Malakiash and I can't remember our main girl's name. Nadia. So that's Nadia and Malakiash. I only remember his name because it took me a while to learn how to say it. I'm pretty sure that I'm saying it correctly now, but yeah, this is absolutely stunning. Stunning. I really, really love that. I am obsessed though with how this side looks, so I'm not going to reverse it, but I will definitely be staring at this art because that is amazing. I really do wish that they would have given us like a art print of this because I would really love to look at this every day. I also think that this is my favorite artwork of Nadia so far. I am not a real big fan of the other artwork I've seen of her, and I really like how she looks there. Malaki Ash usually looks the same in everyone's artwork, so, and I'm okay with that because that's how I picture him too. This is so freaking cool. Oh, and there's something on the cover. I gotta tell you, they wasted no expense when it came to the aesthetics of this book. I mean, like, the cover is gorgeous. Even if you get the regular edition, the cover is still gorgeous. It has this amazing, amazing spine that makes it look like a really old book, deckled edges, and something embossed on the front. So, in red, it says, King of Moths, King of Blood, King of Horrors. Oh my god. I cannot wait to read this freaking book. I cannot freaking wait. Then, we have some really beautiful end papers. Again, like, the amount that they spent on this book... And then the signature. Oh, so amazing. I can't wait to read this. This is going to be an amazing experience. I'm so excited that I got this. I'm so freaking happy. But all right, guys, I am technically on my lunch break from work right now. I am probably going to go find something to eat. I'm going to play some Animal Crossing. And then I have a bunch of work to do for the last three hours that I'm on the clock. Like I said, I am almost done with House of Earth and Blood. Give you a little hint. I'm really, really, really liking it a lot. And then my plan is to at least read one of, I think I only have one, but there might be another one on there. I can't remember. One of my graphic novels for the owls and maybe I can also start something else before this vlog ends. So wish me luck. But alright guys, I'm gonna go take my lunch, go back to work, and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, today is Friday, and today's the day that this vlog is going to end. But before we end this vlog, I am going to do a bit more reading. So let's go ahead and talk about the reading that I'm going to be doing. So while I'm playing Animal Crossing right now, <laughs> I'm going to start my audiobook of Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I have read this entire series before, but for Rub Club, they asked me to rate the entire series. So 
I could do that without rereading it, but that would be silly. So that's what we're going to do. So this is my next priority book because technically I should be reading book two right now, but I did not have time to get to this in March. As we all know, March sucked. I only read four books. <laughs> so this is a high priority right now, which this is counting for Defense Against the Dark Arts. So while I play Animal Crossing, that will be the audiobook I'm listening to until it gets finished, which let me show you my super adorable bedroom in Animal Crossing. It's so cute. Look at how freaking adorable that is. I'm loving it. It's still like a bit of a work in progress, but so far it's amazing. It's absolutely perfect. Then when I get done playing Animal Crossing, I'm going to be re-dyeing my hair. Hopefully it will be green like the original plan and not blue but while i'm waiting for the dye to set in i'm going to be reading my graphic novel snug which is for the class ancient runes which is to read a book with a heart on the cover snug has an adorable heart on the cover so that's what i'll be doing and then this vlog will end so right now I'm gonna get playing and listening and I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so I am finally done playing some Animal Crossing. I've been playing for quite a few hours, but I am now done. The whole time I did listen to Caraval and I'm really, really, really enjoying my reread of this book. I am on page 166, so I'm almost halfway through it exciting. It's definitely really really cool to reread this book knowing everything that ends up happening and seeing like subtle clues to everything. It's it's really great. I also forgot to show you what bookmark I was going to use for Caraval. I decided to use this bookmark from the bookish box that features Scarlet from Caraval and I just love these bookmarks. I'm really sad that Gabriella Budoso is not doing the bookmarks anymore for the bookish box. It was just for this series. I hope that she does more for them in the future because I freaking love her artwork. But now I am going to take a shower and get ready to dye my hair and then I will check back in with you when I start reading Snug. All right guys, my hair is dying. Hopefully it turns out green for longer than just a couple of days. But now it is time to read my graphic novel of Snug. I have it here on Hoopla. There it is. I'm so excited to start it. I can't wait. I really have no idea what this is even about, but it looked good. So I decided to read it. So let's see what it is about. So it says, why bother getting out of bed when you could stay bundled up with that special someone and a book of cozy, cute comics? From the author of the best-selling Little Moments of Love comes Snug, a collection of comics that perfectly captures the honest, playful, and relatable snapshots of romantic life. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it while I wait for my hair to dye. Zach, I don't know what is. The guy's saying, wow, it's so nice outside today. And she has like earmuffs on. There's snow, the windows open. Like this is my whole life. This is my whole life. Zach is always so hot. And it's like, it's so nice outside. You don't need a coat. And I'm just like, it's a winter tundra out here. <laughs> to read Snug by Katana Chetwind, you definitely should. It was really, really cute, really relatable. If you're in a relationship, hopefully you can relate. I definitely could to most of it, so that was really great. So now I still have 20 minutes left until my hair is done. So I'm thinking I'll probably just listen to some more of Caraval and then we'll wrap this up once I get done with my hair. All right, guys, my hair is done. I think you can kind of see that it looks as though it might be more green, but I still feel like it's going to end up washing out blue after a couple days. So we'll just have to see what ends up happening. But it's now time to end this vlog. So what did we read for the owls during week one and two? 
I read The Lovely Reckless by Kami Garcia. I'm giving it four out of five stars. Then I started Caraval. I am now at page 185, so just like 15 pages short of being halfway through it. Still really, really enjoying it. I read Snug by Katana Chetwind. That, I think I'm going to give it five out of five stars. It was cute. It was enjoyable. It was short. I enjoyed it. I think I'm going to give it five out of five. So that is everything that I have read for the owls thus far. I should hopefully, hopefully be getting done with Crescent City either tonight or tomorrow and then I can just focus on the owls which will be fantastic. I definitely foresee myself getting done with Caraval very very soon. I think the next book I'm going to start is maybe Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I have that on audio so I am very very excited about that. And then before I officially end this, I do want to pick out one book with you guys. So for divination class, you're supposed to make a TBR, number it, and then use a random number generator to pick a book for you. And I did that and it was Laura Dean Cutes Breaking Up With Me. I was very excited to read it. However, I do not have an e-copy and I could not get a copy from the library in time before they closed, so I had to replace it. So now we are going to pick out that book together on camera. It's going to be great. Last time I just did it on my own and you guys had to trust me that it was accurate. So now we can do it together. So I have five books on this list. Three of them I'm planning on reading this month anyways, and they do not count for the owls. The other two I would just like to read. So the three that I am for sure reading this month is first book in Crescent City, obviously, because I'm almost done with it. Legendary, the second book to Caraval. Turn of the Key, which is an adult thriller that I've heard really, really good things about. And I should be getting it in a week or two on Libby. And then the other two that I'm interested in reading is Sheets. It was originally on my Owl's TBR and I took it off, but I still really want to read it. And Crave by Tracy Wolf, I believe. I... <sighs> I originally had no interest in reading this book, but there's been so much hype about it. I see it on Instagram every single freaking day. I almost got it from the Bookish Box because that's their book for, I believe, April, but I decided not to just because I earned a free box from them and I was going to use it and get the book edition. However, the last time that I did that, because I normally get the t-shirt one, it the system automatically says I get a free t-shirt one and I have to then contact them to switch it over to a book one and it just makes me feel guilty. So I didn't do it. I was like, you know what? No, I don't want to read this book anyways. I'm not going to do it. And now I just keep hearing about it and I'm regretting it. They just put the ebook and audiobook on Hoopla. So now I'm like, ugh, I can read it. I can read it. That is also on my list. So here is my list numbered one through five. We're going to find out what book I'm reading this month. For sure, Counting for the Owls. Well, hopefully, Counting for the Owls. So let me pull up a random number generator. Minimum is one, max is five, and now we're gonna do it. Number three. What is number three? Number three is Crave. <laughs> okay. Oh, I really hope it's good. I heard that it's supposed to be like Twilight meets Harry Potter or something, which I love, but the description just sounds not great. And I've always been like, I'm not going to read that book. Maybe I'll pick it up from the library, but I'm definitely not going to own it. But all this hype about it, I just feel like I really missed an opportunity to own it by getting it from the bookish box. And yeah, but now we're going to read it. We're going to read it on Hoopla. It'll be fine. There will be no FOMO. And if I really, really like it that much, I could just buy a copy afterwards. So we're reading Crave. I'm nervous yet excited. All right, guys, that is everything that I have for you in this vlog. I will see you guys next week for week three's vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you loved it and you want to see more bookish content from me, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified as soon as my videos go live here on YouTube, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>